What's up guys, GG Forex here. Welcome back to my channel and on today's video you're probably going to be questioning about the thumbnail. Have you quit your job and have you blown your account? Yes. Yes I have. <laughs> so let me just break it down for you. Let me tell you my thought process. Let me tell you exactly what I'm going on about. How do, what is my plan of attack? Have I just randomly done this? Is this a spontaneous thing? Is this a, what is going on? Right? Now it's been a while since I've made a video so I do apologise about that. I know what you're going to be thinking. George, you quit your job. What are you doing? How's it going? All these other things going on, right? It's going well. I'm really getting a good grip on the market. I'm under not really a good grip because no one really does that. It's I'm understanding how I like to play the game. I understand exactly what's going on. But the annoying thing is, the most frustrating thing is, and where I was going wrong for a lot of the time is I'm away from the markets. I can't see what I need to see at the right time. I can't see London Open. London Open for me is the most important uh, session. The London session, the London and New York crossover, so 8 a.m. GMT to 5 p.m. GMT, that is prime time for me to trade. That is where the moves happen. That is where I want to get in on the market. I can't do that with my job because I have an eight till five job. So I'm missing all that session and the London New York Cross is at half past one till uh, 10 p.m. at night, right? So <clears throat> when New York opens, my lunch is already finished. So I don't even get to see New York happen. So I'm seeing all these moves happen and I can't take part in it. And on the other side of this, I can't manage my trades. I don't have access to the charts at all. So I can't see if if I'm in a trade and it's going well, I can't see if, right, okay, price has moved away far enough now, I can move my stop loss closer. closer. But I can't do that because price can come up here, get a one to five, and in my head, if I seen that, I would have taken partials off, I would have covered my stop loss, break even trade, I've already taken a chunk out, I protected myself, if it keeps going up, great. Um, if it comes back down and slams my t uh, stop loss, doesn't matter. I've already taken my chunk out and I've already covered myself. That's what I would do if I could be on the markets during that time. But at the moment, price is going up, getting a great reward to risk. And then whatever happens in the news that I can't check at that time comes out and then it pushes price down again. And either I'm still in it, but it's at break even area, still at risk of losing my 1% risk on the trade. And... These things add up, these things happen. And also when price gets into where I want to start selling from, I can't get an extra confirmation in that area. So I can't see a distribution happening in my daily candle because I'm not there to see the distribution happen. I kind of have to trust that area of where the banks want to reverse from. So instead of me going, this is where I think the banks want to reverse from, let's look for proof. I kind of have to do, this is a higher probability chance of where banks will reverse from, let's put on a pending. So can you see the difference? This is how I figured out where I'm going wrong because I kind of have to trust the process. Now I know I say it a lot and you do need to trust the process, but when you have to literally just go, this is where I think it's going to reverse from, you're going to lose a lot more. And when you're in a challenge like FTMO, you can't really afford to high to have like a low win rate. Now, no, no, it's not about win rates, it's about reward to risk. But when you're away from the charts, right? So I hope all of this is making sense and how I'm going on about this. But when you're away from the charts, you have to really do four hour plus charts, which means your stop loss is going to be probably 30 to 50 pips averagely, right? So if you want a good reward to risk, you're going to have to have price go 250, 300 pips beyond your entry. So you're going to have to catch big reversals. Reversals that are really hard to do, right? Um, classic example of this, GJ got a beautiful trade on an eight hour time frame. Price came down 300 pips. I was away from the charts. I couldn't catch a reversal. I did move my stop loss um, at night time to, I think, 1.6%. RR area, so I said if price gets past this point, I'm probably going to lose, uh, price is probably going to reverse on me or whatever, um, and it did, it hit my stop loss, but I missed out because if I was there to catch the move, I could have got out a lot earlier. So it's sort of, my job is getting in the way of me 
confirming better entries, so getting a high win rate, so I'm not getting stung in the areas where I could be avoiding it by me just witnessing price action in those areas to begin with. Um, I'm a bit better able to actually manage my trade. So if I see price moving away, like I said, I can move my stop loss to break even. I can then take partials out of that trade and let it play out. But when you're away from the charts, I can't do either of those things. When you're in a challenge, you can't really afford to take those losses and you don't really have the time to leverage because you are on a time scale. You are trying to get 10% within 30 days. It's a lot easier to do that in the lower time frames. It's also a lot more risky, but when you are at the charts and you're able to manage it, like I'm saying, the risk is reduced greatly. When you having to trust a process and you're away from the charts and in the most volatile times, the risk is a lot higher. So these are the reasons why I decided to leave my job. I've got a cushion in the bank. I can absolutely dominate and crush this, give myself 100%, 110%, 100 million percent, right? Effort into making this happen as a reality, as in making trading happen. Yes, I did lose my 10K account. I was gonna lose it on purpose. Only way, because I want to have three 70K accounts. I don't wanna have like two 70K accounts and then one 10K account, it's kinda of like, a waste of an account, if that makes sense. Like they might have changed the rules where you can have more than three accounts. I don't know. Let me know in the comment box below if that is the case. Um, but yeah, so I've lost my 10K account and my job ends at the end of the month. So I'm super excited for my new venture into this. Um, you're gonna be getting a lot more content from me. My educational group course, is going to be dropped soon which is going to be insane a lot of people in the gg forex group are asking for that and it is being built it's just not ready yet the link is down below for the gg forex group by the way which is amazing a couple of guys have passed their ftmo challenge in that as well which i'm just super proud of them they are absolutely crushing it and it's just so great to see the progress that's being made and the real traders in that group is, is nuts but yes guys so I know I can do it. I've gone head first into this. And for those of you who don't know, I've actually passed the challenge, the stage one challenge on FTMO three times. I'm gonna put my uh, certificates up here to show you proof. Now there was a reason why I didn't tell you that I've actually passed different challenges. And I'll let you know that at the end of the month. But I actually have passed this the hardest way by going through all the reasons that I just said. I've still managed to pass FTMO challenge three times, right? On multiple occasions, I passed it three times. So I know when I don't have any of these things out of the way and I've learned a lot through my joke process, through my journaling, and you've guys been with me every step of the way. So I'm taking all that knowledge, everything I've gained, and now taking this huge time advantage of not being able to miss the London session and the New York cross and pulling that all into one. So I'm very confident in I'm gonna do a, <clears throat> a challenge at the end of the month um, where I'll actually be there to see stuff happen. So my win rate should be a lot higher. And I'm gonna to stick to maybe one to threes, one to fours on my reward to risk, just because I know I can get that in a day. And then it's just all about changing or coming out of a strategy for the FTMO challenge because you have to trade differently, which I'll explain on a different video anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's my story guys. I've lost my 10K account, I'm leaving my job, but that is the reasons why. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys are as well to see me on my next stage of this, on my next journey, and it's gonna be insane. Okay guys, I love you all. Join the GG Forex group down below to keep up with everything that's going on. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. And it's gonna be a big one guys, trust me.